Hey everyone, it's Matt aka Tech Ranger, and today we're going to be taking a look at some quality of life mods for Fallout 4 on the Xbox. And quality of life is pretty much anything that will make the game just a little bit easier to manage, but then also add some really cool functionality in ways of like the Pit Boy, not really taking up much space at all. So we're going to be taking a look at five of these, and then at the end I have like one more, which is just a quick one to round everything out. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. If you have any questions about any of these, leave a comment down below below and then I'll also have all the mod descriptions in the links in the description and without further ado let's check out some quality of life mods for Fallout 4 on the Xbox One and Series X and S of course. So do you mod a weapon in Fallout 4 but you're not really sure what you're actually doing to it until you look at the numbers on the left hand side and well you see a plus or minus and yeah it looks like things are happening. Well, in this mod, this actually adds a better description to what you're actually doing to your weapon. So it actually gives you some percentages just to give you an idea of like what you're actually doing to the weapon when you mod it. And rather than having to look over to the left hand side of the screen and see the pluses and minuses, this gives you a better idea of what you're actually doing to the weapon and if it's really worth upgrading it to, let's say, a silencer versus a compensator and vice versa. The only downside here is that it won't work with a weapon that's downloaded with a mod. If anyone has an idea of like how to get that to work, I've moved it around in the load order and it doesn't seem to actually work with any mod weapons, so let me know if you fare differently. You ever wish you could just walk up to somebody and instead of getting into a conversation with them, you could just like trade with them immediately? Well, you can do it with this mod just with a click of the button. You just press the X button on your Xbox controller and boom, you're right in that player's inventory. The only caveat here is in Diamond City, when you walk up to a merchant, they're just going to start talking to you most of the time and you're not going to be able to get that prompt unless you're super fast. But when you jump out of that conversation, you will be able to do it. That will show you that you can actually do this with your companions as well now it might depend on if you have any companion mods it might actually disable that for you the mod shouldn't override anything so it should work with all companions but for some reason like in my game i couldn't get nick valentine to trade with me unless i talked to him but then others i didn't have any problem with overall i'd say it's worth it just having the opportunity to jump in somebody's inventory and then trade with them without actually having to talk to them in most cases Now this mod is a sorting mod of sorts and it might not be everybody's cup of tea because it adds little identifiers to each item and then moves things like keys and hollow tapes and makes it so you can find things a lot easier. Only caveat being like if you add any mods that add like a hollow tape, you know, that might not be marked appropriately. But everything on the mod description will show everything in order or tools like your bobby pins will be all the way at the top and then you'll have your valuables kind of like pre-war money that sort of thing as well as collectibles and then everything under that will be anything related to a hollow tape or any quest items and then keys to round out the list like the mod description mentions i would suggest putting this way down in your load order that way if there's a quest mod that adds some items or something like that maybe this will be thrown in that same kind of sorting that's going on with this mod. Unfortunately, the quest mod we just looked at added a bunch of items when we were exploring and that didn't get sorted. So all that stuff is in the middle, which isn't fantastic. It kind of defeats the purpose of the actual sorting, but at least you do get to see those symbols and you can kind of clearly see what's a specific quest mod because that stuff's not marked. So maybe that's an unintended benefit of the mod. Curious to know what you all think about this mod. I know there are other mods out there like Def UI that can do stuff like this, but that might require its own video. I'm not sure if I'm alone in this, but sometimes I open up my Pip-Boy just to look at the time, just to see how much time I have before I actually need to go and wait somewhere to get to daylight again because I don't really like running around at nighttime in this game. This mod, Hollow Time, will actually give you an idea of what the time is without actually having to open up your Pip Boy. And to do this, you do have to install the HUD framework. The HUD framework allows this mod to work and this will add a time to your screen. And you can choose the size and position of it. You can make it really big if 
you just want to see the time really big and you can change the position and that's on the x and y axis you choose the size and position with your analog sticks and i actually made the clock really big on my screen and that's probably not something you want to do so you saw that time bar there and that is basically it shows you when it's bright out when it's going to get dark and then for the size and position using the analog sticks it can be a little tricky there was a lot of trial and error for me because moving the analog sticks up and down depending on your controller might be super easy or super hard so generally a number you kind of want to use for the x-axis is 1080 and just like take half of that and then you can kind of get closer to the middle of the screen good news is when you're actually moving around the clock it actually shows you on that page you don't have to like jump out of your pit boy just to actually see where the hollow time is actually popping up one thing i noticed in this this might be because I'm using the immersive HUD, but whenever you aim in, that's when the clock goes away. And then usually when you're kind of running around and somewhat idle, then the clock pops back up. I wasn't sure if I had this on a toggle on the immersive HUD or not. So something to look out for if you're having trouble seeing it after you configure it. Pretty cool mod that adds some pretty useful functionality. This mod is really cool and then it adds a companion status bar to your HUD and this shows you if your companion is near death or not, which is super helpful because that's not something you would know in the vanilla game when you had a companion. This is a pretty versatile mod and then it works with a bunch of other mods, like including the one that gives you a lot of companions. So it's nice in that retrospect and then like automatically this uh, companion HUD will actually go away when your companion exits combat, but it'll only pop up when you're companion enters combat and might be taking damage. So it's pretty intelligent in that retrospect. And a quick bonus mod, no pun intended. This one is quick main menu and it's exactly what it says. When you jump out of the game after installing this thing, load it back up, you will not have to go through all of those logos at the beginning, just this splash screen, and then boom, you're in the game super quick. So you can download all the mods that are featured pretty quickly, but you still have to wait for the mod screen to actually load into the mod database. So hopefully that was a pretty interesting watch for you all and you found some cool mods here and you can actually use all of these all at once. I have been and it seems to be working okay. Like I said, the things that I mentioned were uh, caveats that I found out that may not be that way for you. So let me know in the comments down below if you had any different experiences with these mods, if you've tried them out. I know a couple of them are tied to the DLC so if you don't have that you may not be able to use them but I did mark those appropriately and then obviously in those links down in the description down below take a look at those dependencies and see what you might need to install these if I miss something so thank you so much for watching hopefully you all enjoy it and I will see you in the next mod video bye now